Okay, dear students, uh, let us see this question. A circuit consists of cells of electromotive force, 6 volt, negligible internal resistance, connected to two resistances, 4 ohm, okay, which are in parallel. The ammeter has a resistance equal to 1 ohm. Okay, so we will write it here. The resistance of the ammeter is 1 ohm, so it means it's not ideal. Ideal ammeter means the resistance is 0, so it's not ideal. But the voltmeter is ideal. So the voltmeter is having the resistance infinite. And so no current will enter into this branch. So ideally, no current is entering into the voltmeter. The current that is coming from this is shared between this and this. Only in the two branches. So what are the readings of ammeter and voltmeter? Okay, fine. So to find the reading of ammeter, we have to find the total resistance. And we have to find the total current that is coming from the battery. For that, we need to find R equivalent. So, this voltmeter, we will not consider it. Okay. We will consider this only because anyways, the current is not entering into that. So, this 4 and 4 are in parallel. So, for parallel, it is R1, R2, divided by R1 plus R2. I have told you earlier also in many other videos that we are using these three concepts here. Either this or this. Or if equal um, equal resistances are in parallel, so the RP is given by whatever the resistance divided by total number of resistances which are being used. Here, both of them are equal to 4 and there are only 2 resistances, so 4 divided by 2. So it will be 2 ohm. So this becomes 2 ohm and in series with 1 ohm, so the total resistance is 3 ohm now. Okay, so R equivalent for our circuit is 3 ohm because 1 is in series. So you can write it like 2 plus 1. So what is the current now? For current, what I am going to do is V is equal to IR and so I is equal to V by R. So V is 6 divided by 3, hence 2 ampere. So it is 2 ampere that current is coming into this circuit so 2 ampere goes through the emitter so our reading will be 2 amperes we are sure about that now now let us talk about the voltmeter reading so voltmeter is applied across these two ends so we have to find the current that is passing through this individual resistance so we can say that 2 ampere comes here and because the resistances are equal, so this 2 ampere is shared. This 2 ampere is now shared equally. So this will be having 1 ampere. This will be having 1 ampere. And the resistance is 4 ohm. So the voltage is V is equal to IR. Current is 1 ampere into 4. So our answer is 4 volt. So the answer should be C. To find the reading of voltmeter, we can do one more thing. If we are not, there is another method also. What we can do is we can find the R equivalent for these two, which is which is two ohm, and two ampere is the current. So we can also do RP. So the total current is two ampere, and RP is also two. Again, we are getting the same answer. So in either of the way, you can solve the question. So with this, we have the answer C. Let us verify it from the mark scheme. Yes, according to the mark scheme, the answer is absolutely C. So with this, all the best. Bye.